Hey guys, welcome to Claremont High. It's a battleground here. Nothing new, just your typical high school. You've got your jocks, nerds, music geeks, and you're somewhere in between. Let me introduce myself. No, not him, me. The kid's still having locker troubles halfway through the semester. The thing about me is, I don't really know who I am yet. I'm Max Flanders, and this is a story that changed my life. And that's Victoria Flowers, the love of my life. The only problem, Brady McMillan. Brady's your typical high school hero, captain of the basketball team, president of the debate club. Oh, also, my arch nemesis my entire life. We get along sometimes. Yo, Flanders. Okay. How's that rock? Oh, God. Yo, I saw you looking at like Victoria. No, no, I wasn't. You better not be. I wasn't. You promise? Yeah. All right, man, put it there. Okay. Just kidding. <laughs> Here's my best friend, Sam. Hey, Sam. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Brady giving you trouble again. Yeah, I thought I was looking at his girlfriend, which I probably was. You know I've been in love with Victoria since second grade. Well, anyway, I should probably get to class. Okay. I'll see you later. All right, class, everybody turn to pages 302. Just a reminder, I know it's late in the semester, but my name is Mr. Bloom. That's B-L-O-O-M. And I'm really excited to get started today. All right, class. McMillan, what did I say? I'm not even doing anything. And that's the problem. Mrs. Flowers, what did I say? This is a no PDA classroom. Um, my dad, the founder of the Snow Globe, would not approve of this. Mrs. Flowers, frankly, I don't care what your dad does. But anyway, let's return to the Scarlet Letter. Pages 302 through 305. Who can tell me what happens? Clearly, the woman made a mistake, and she was prosecuted for it. Why? Mrs. Tillman and Mr. Flanders. Frankly, I'm surprised to say this, but you know the rules, no notes. And we know that on Thursday, I'll take that, Chapter 7's reading quiz will be executed. And there's the bell. Class, must I remind you again that the quiz is on Thursday? Do not forget your readings. Uh, Mr. Flanders, can I talk to you for a second? Max, what's going on, man? Graduation's coming up. You need to figure out your identity before you leave Claremont. I know. These past few weeks have just been crazy. Prom's coming up, graduation's right around the corner. I just, just have a lot on my mind, I guess. Oh, I get it, man. I get it. Well, hey, you know what? I read this when I was your age, and it, it did a lot for me. Try it. Thanks. Sure. Oh, and Mr. Bloom? Thanks. Sam, sometimes what's been missing has been right in front of your eyes. Sam, I would love to go to prom with you. Really? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I need my glasses back. Have you ever tried contacts? Your eyes are really pretty. Much better. <laughs> and there we were, happy as can be. I guess what I learned is that high school isn't all that bad. You just have to be patient and pay attention, and you'll be happy with what you find. That's all for now. I just wish Mr. Bloom taught college classes. And you said, we're not friends anymore. I couldn't believe it. <laughs> I can't believe she did that, man. That is unreal. Well, I was going to say that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Because you is one of my Two best friends having fun. Around. That's what it's all about. <laughs> <laughs>